um, James Hildreth, let's let's start with the uh, the good part of the day, which was your 87. You must be very pleased and possibly a little bit relieved to have got some serious runs on the board again. I think you know you come into the first day of the season and everyone's high hopes and expectations for the season. So to spend some time in the middle on a surface that was quite challenging to begin with with the new ball, um, yeah, it feels great. And do you feel you're getting back to your to your best form? Was that somewhere close to it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. To be honest, I hit them all right today. It felt it felt good. It's you know I don't know when I last felt in particularly good touch for a long period of time so I'm hoping that this might be the start of, of a decent run I've had I flirted with form I think over the last few years and um, so it'd be nice to actually go for a bit of a purple patch and, and get some consecutive runs on the board for the team and how difficult was it this morning on, on that pitch well with the new ball it was really challenging it was it was a slow wicket but it was jagging both ways they've obviously got world-class bowling attack so when they put it in the right areas as when we put it in the right areas with the new ball it was it was hard work out there Saying which, what was the thinking behind batting first after winning the toss on, on what you knew was going to be probably a difficult early season pitch against a really top quality attack? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I wasn't involved in the decision making. I don't know, but if you looked at the pitch, um, the weather forecast was set fair today. The pitch was soft, slow, um, and actually, you saw from the way they batted on it, there was runs to be had there. It wasn't a, it wasn't a 180 pitch, we didn't bat very well. I think we were all quite aware of that. Uh, I don't think it was necessarily the, uh, the pitch um, that was the issue. So the decision I think was probably the right one to bat first. If we batted well, we would have been in a position similar to them. And a good partnership between yourself and, and the irrepressible Rolf van der Merf. Yeah, he's brilliant, isn't he? Yeah, love him to bits. He's just one of those wholehearted cricketers. You want him in every team you play in. Will give you absolutely everything in any situation, um, and, and showed again there. You know he's, he's unorthodox with the way he plays, but actually, if you look how he's done in the last few years in Red Bull cricket, I'm talking with the bat. He does really well for us, um, so you, you can never underestimate him. Was that a calculated counter attack that the pair of you mounted after lunch? No, no, definitely <laughs> not. I think naturally we're more attacking kind of batters. Um, get on the bad ball. Rulof as well. I think once he gets going, there's no stopping him. He'll he'll hit lots of boundaries. So I think it was just a period where we got a few cut balls away. Um, Ruler's always going to score quickly. It just it just kind of happened that way, really. And has the pitch got easier? Is it flattened out over the course of the day? No, I don't think so. I think it's I think it was pretty good when we batted. I felt uh, if you batted time, applied yourself, and there were some bad balls out there. Actually, the the, the ball was nibbling around early on, um, but there were times when it was quite placid. So. Um, I think the pitch has stayed pretty true, but as we saw when we bowled, you know, if you're bowling short wide balls or, or too short on a pitch that's offering a bit in the right areas, you're going to get punished for it. And, and the same for them, if, if they bowled short and wide, then we got fours for it. Um, there's runs to be had out there, but if you bowl in the right areas, then you'll get your rewards. It's a very depleted, some would say, seam attack. How did you, how did you feel? Well, you're standing at first step, so you're in pole position to get a good view. Peter Siddle, first of all, and then the two young fast bowlers, Ned Leonard and Casey Aldridge. How do you think they, they performed? Well, I think obviously they will we'll assess and, and realise that we probably bowled too short. Um, you know, you're on these kind of wickets early season at the GS Bowl, you're only bowling full and, and hitting, hitting the stumps, really. Uh, so that was something that's pretty obvious to, to everyone. I think you saw from Peter Siddle, he class, he bowled in the right areas, made things happen, beat the bat, didn't get any uh, wickets, but looked like he could have done most balls he bowled. And if the others learn a bit from that, the one thing that with a depleted side and losing a few guys, it just gives them such great opportunity, especially in these English conditions early on, to just really kickstart their career and, and get quite a few wickets early on. Well, it's obviously been a disappointing day and Somerset behind the eight ball in, in, in the game. What's the prognosis? What's the, the positive prognosis for tomorrow and beyond? Well, I think it's the first day of the season, isn't it? We know it's a long summer. Uh, lots of things can happen. Um, so we're, we're going to be positive. We can't, we can't beat ourselves up too much after one day's cricket. But look, at the end of the day, we, it's not the first day we wanted. And we certainly wanted to perform better than we did today. But... We'll go away, we'll try and come back stronger tomorrow and realise actually it's a long six months.